It's not uncommon for athletes and runners to experience strain around their knees. Repetitive injury to this area can eventually cause complications that require corrective surgery. The symptoms that I've been experiencing, swelling and a lot of pain, especially when I move up and down the stairs. It sometimes felt like my knee wanted to give way under me and that, that hurt a lot. I used to play netball, but since my knee started being sore, I stopped doing it. That's something that I really miss. Mediclinic's Dr. Jason Crane and his team will be performing an arthroscopy, a minimally invasive surgical procedure to view and repair Yolanda's injury. What's actually happened is that inside a knee there's cartilage called, called a meniscus, and the meniscus is almost the shock absorber of the knee. And what she's managed to do is tear one of them, and that tear has formed a big, almost like a cystic lesion. So the operation today is minimally invasive. We put a camera inside her knee, and what we're going to go is and take out that little water-filled sac, as well as reshape the cartilage inside her knee. Okay, so this will fill the joints up with water, so we can, we're able to see everything inside the joint. Okay, so now we're inside the knee joints. We're looking behind the kneecap, and if we look over, we can see this is the fat inside her knee, and you can see the blood vessels. So we know that, that she's had an injury because it's very inflamed. The blood vessels have grown, and they're causing a lot of pain and inflammation. This is the meniscus where we, the cartilage, that on, probably on the other side is gonna to be torn. If you look over here, this is the anterior cruciate ligament, the knee. So this is the one that most rugby players damage. It's, it's the one that stops your knee from going forwards and backwards. And this is on the other side of the knee. And what you can see over here is, compared to the other side, is this large pair in the front. Meniscus tears are usually characterized by pain and swelling, limited motion and popping and clicking within the knee. And this is the area that was actually torn and that's where the cystic lesion came from, or the fluid full sac. So athletes from running and twisting motions, you'll get a tear that comes into this area over here and you get a tear right across in this area. And what we do is we either can go in there with a small tool and punch things out or we can actually if it's in the, this corner, we can actually suture it up with suture material. But in her case, she's only got a tear on the very edge, which all you need to do is just basically shrink down the tissue, and that'll solve all the problems. So for, for knee replacements, we will have to open things up. But in the old days, this had to be done open. So before we had scopes, the whole knee would have had to be opened, and then we can actually visualize inside there. But the problem with that is the recovery time from this took at least six months to get over the insult to it. So recovery from this is just a few days and then actually she's going to walk home today. In addition to a quicker recovery, endoscopic procedures mean patients spend less time in theatre and the risk of complications is dramatically reduced. The operation went really well. She had a small little tear which was easy to fix. She'll even go home today. At two days she's going to be able to drive. Two weeks time she's going to be doing a bit of cycling and some swimming. And at six weeks time she can start again her running and whatever else she'll do for sports. She's a good netball player. This is a really common injury, we do about three or four a week. In the old days, it used to be a long six months recovery. With the new technology and using a scope, it's now a quick and simple procedure. When I was released from the hospital, I was on crutches for two days. And then when I got home, I started walking without the crutches. I could even tickle the stairs more. Going up and down, up is still a bit sore, but coming down is it's very much better. I still have a little bit of pain alongside the knee, but as the doctor said, as the time comes, it will go away completely.